other ideas for valuable comments might be your recommendations for travel, for books, for movies, for great speakers you've heard at an event, for learning products or events that you're going to recommend to your friends, uh, your, your comments or expertise on uh, or provocative questions on current events or trends and how they affect those in your industry, insights from some self-development program you've participated in. You might want to comment on new research such as polls or surveys or tests you've run across that you want to share with your colleagues. Or maybe you want to make predictions about your industry, social changes, or moods in the country on your workplace. Just don't confuse value now with profundity. We're not saying you have to be profound. Just when you tweet or add a comment on someone's blog post, you don't have to be so, proud, so profound as to cause people to, to grab a pen and capture that thought for posterity. You just want to remind people, if it occurs to you, to be grateful for good health when you are just lost a, a loved one. Certainly that's not a new thought, it's not profound, but it serves to remind people to cherish what's important. Telling someone why you enjoyed a, a particular movie may not be profound, but it may increase their understanding or enjoyment of the movie. Uh, a patriotic post might, uh, about why you love this country reminds people to be grateful. So don't let the value proposition that I mentioned cause you to hesitate in joining online conversations as in face-to-face -face discussions. Just try not to have people uh, to, to bore them with inane comments. Make sure your online comments carry as much weight as those witty words you work so hard to deliver face to face.